What's up YouTube? Back at it again with another video today. So if you can see behind me, um, I have everything tarped off because we are finally, finally going to be painting the bumpers, the door handles, the grill, everything's getting color matched tomorrow. Today what we have to do is take everything off. So the first part of these few little videos I'm going to be making is, um, the first one is how to be take off the grill. So. Um, what you're going to need to take off the grill is a pry tool or a flathead screwdriver, doesn't matter. And then a 10 millimeter socket is all you're going to need. So I do have my GoPro on hooked up, obviously. So hopefully I'll be able to do everything with both hands and you guys can see it from my perspective. So we're going to do that now. Alright guys, so here we go. Got our tools. So first thing, obviously, open the hood directly underneath the door hand or underneath the steering wheel. Reach in here. It's in the middle, right there. Okay. So first thing you're going to do is you have to remove this piece of plastic. Now the best way to go about this uh, is to actually go underneath the piece itself. So we're just going to go around here, pop all these out. Okay. Done with the pry tool for now. So now you're going to see one, two, three, and four 10 millimeter sockets. We'll go ahead and take those out now. So we got all four of them off. So now this is where the flathead is gonna come in because there is clips here on the bottom and then same here, here, and here. So what you're gonna wanna do is reach in right here at the flathead and just pry back on it and then now for the bottom one actually reach your hand down in here and push from the back and that will save you from breaking any clips so then what you can do is you can actually just open this like a door so keeping your hand behind here pop that back And then now we'll remove this metal screw as well, or clip, sorry. And now it just has the bottom held on. So we're gonna come back here, same thing. Push from the back. And that's it. So these is the clip, this is the clip I was talking about, and then you also have these plastic tabs as well. So, that's it guys, uh, the grill is out. So then what I like to do guys, um, is I'll just go back and put all the screws back in where they came from, or the bolts, I guess, so that I don't lose them. Just kind of thread them in a little bit. All right, so back to this. Um, if that's all you needed, and is just know how to get the grill out if you're putting in an aftermarket one or whatever uh, that's where this video can end for you but if you are here because you are looking to paint it as well what you're going to need to do next the first thing you're going to have to do um, to get to these clips underneath here is you're going to have to remove the uh, top piece bracket that attached and then you're also going to have to move these air shrouds so this is an eight millimeter to get these bolts out. Okay. So now that those are out, this will just come straight off. I'm gonna set this completely out of my way. All right, so you're gonna need to get these um, air shrouds out to get to the clips that are behind, or that take off the actual grill insert. 
So the easiest way, and I've seen a couple people do this, and it's uh, a safe method, is uh, to take a heat gun. Because if you look here, um, it latches in on this side, but then it's got this little plate right here that stops you from pressing the clip back. So what you can do is if you use a heat gun, it makes the plastic soft and it won't break the clip, but it'll make it just soft enough to have a little flexibility to it. Then you can finagle with it a little bit. So you can see that the back plate is still there. I did it on this one already as well. It doesn't break anything. It just softens it up enough for you to wiggle it out. All right guys, so that's out. Grill is completely clean. So even though it may look easy, um, definitely um, proceed with caution. Don't get in a hurry. Don't pry very hard. It's not hard at all to get this off because these are actually attached to your grill. So if you break one of these clips, I mean, you're out of clip. And then you also as well will need to uh, remove the emblem, which is super simple as well. You just have these four clips holding it on. So there is adhesive on the other side. So once you get the clips released, just get behind there with a screwdriver and get it started like so. So see, it's attached there in the middle with adhesive. All right guys, that's the video for um, removing your grill and then how to take it apart. If you stayed through the entire video, watching it take it apart, thank you very much. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe, and go ahead and find my next video for we're going to be moving right into it from here to taking apart the front bumper and then the rear bumper, so on and so forth. And then I will have an entire video on how to paint chrome and how to do all this stuff. So, like the video, subscribe for more to come, and until next time, peace.